Well, <clears throat> it has been a bit of a day for me. Now, many of you diehard fans, and I got a lot of them, there's no one watching, will notice that the glasses are different. I have lost my glasses in my house in the middle of a shutdown somehow. No idea. No idea. But I have these glasses, which are my previous glasses. What's weird is that these glasses... Well, I actually... What I don't like about these glasses, and even though I like the look of them, I don't like, in the end, the narrowness, because I want broader, easier view. I, I can see the bars. I notice it. But I'm willing to live with it. So these are the glasses that I have for the show. And I, I, that's a long story that I can tell and, and connected to this. But that's, uh, well, uh, maybe that'll come up another time. But I'm not going to share it now because we got to get this show on the road. So what I have decided, I'm going to start doing things a little bit differently here. In the beginning, if you, for those of you who watch regularly, what I do is I uh, go through a, this is the part of the show where I'm going to take you through the, 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 the three websites that I'm using right now that I've created, these news aggregate websites that I've created to... They're, they're my place where I gather all the links with the various ways that I do that in topics that fit those sites. And uh, I am doing something different. Instead, what you're going to get is for the first half of the show, when I go to record the the segment that I'm going to record, what you're going to get is, here, I'll just show you a little bit. I'm not going to really get this set up right now. And I'll just, uh, there you go, news of light. And, uh, actually, Obamacare. I've got to move Obamacare because I've, I've got these a little bit flaggered. So we're going to get that to... Oh, I know. Oh. oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to do there. Bummer. You know what? I will put this uh, here. That's what I'll do. All right, so we've got two on this end. There, I decided this. I'm sorry. I decided this is what you get on the live show. You get stuff like this. You get to see behind the scenes. So uh, a decision was made. Uh, see, I'd set them up in a certain way. When I looked at it, I was like, no, no, no. See, the idea, just like you guys know transparently, the <clears throat> the versions that end up recorded as the excerpts that end up on... Well, right now I'm just posting on BitChute and YouTube, but I'm probably going to be putting them on more video platforms as well. I'm not sure. Probably maybe two or three others if I once I decide which ones I'm going to use. But for right now, those two platforms... And so I want to make sure that on those, the cut versions, if you will, that I'm getting in, because my, my whole idea is that I want people to, including you guys listening, I want people to regularly visit the whole, the whole network of sites. Uh, these things change, and not everything that you see on Newsalight you'll see easily or on the front on, on Frico, and <clears throat> as well with, well, well, definitely not everything you see on news a lot of a lot of things you see on news alight most of what you see on news alight you won't see on obamacare or pioneering news so there you go there you go you got a little bit i'm not going to consider this the beginning of the show so let's just let's just let's just uh let's just get ready to the see this was my problem because i'm going to have to go into here we go <clears throat> So I'm going to have to go into the real introduction for the show coming up here. So make sure that we're set with what we need to be set with. All righty then. We've got everything monitored. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reels part of the show. This is the reels part of the show. It begins right now. Warning, the material you're about to expose to is for the minds of individuals who are limited in their capacity to understand the actual reality of power around them, just as you and everyone else in life find out. What you're about to hear are opinions, suppositions, like gospel, or scientific proofs, not infallible certainties. Brace yourself for incoming opinions that could confirm or deny your preference view of the reality of power. Brace yourself for fallible material, fallible opinions, and values reflected, but nonetheless variably firmly held. We do not apologize to anyone in our family. We do not apologize for daring to express our views and impressions of what we believe in this and what we hope to see. We will keep talking so long as we are able. And now, 
Frigo attempts to talk about the news without freaking out. That's the plan, ladies and gentlemen, with my new styling glasses, which are my old styling glasses. So everything new is old again and everything old is new again because these things will be old again and then they'll be... Uh, never mind. It's Time is subjective. Okay. Let's record it. Let's just... Hold just, 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 on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about what, what the show is going to be about today. How about we do that? This is Frico Talks the News. And today's story is, well, today's news art, if you will. This is a news art. Frico Talks the News, which is a news art. It's a daily news art is what it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some changes to show some of these things. You'll see. Anyway, it's a daily news art. The title of the daily news art today is Common Sense Digitals and Rare Earth Unshackled. This is for Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Thursday, May 14th, 2020. I say it again because I want to memorize it because I'm going to say it a few times when I record each segment. Because you do that. That's what you do, son. That's what you do. Every, everyone. That's what you should do, everyone. Z out of US power. Literally. Rare earth in the U.S. no mo, thanks to China. That'll be our feature. Musk conscripts Tesla army. That's going to test my, uh, my. do I make it six shows in a row without freaking out? That one's one to watch. So everyone who's rooting for a freak out, you, you people that like the crashes in the races, people, I understand. Uh, that's the story to really pay attention to. Making my digital figure it out on its own. A poem for Clara. C-L-A-R-A. -A. That's our news poem. I think that's probably obvious. Micro value exchange overcoming value exchange monopolies. That is our dialectical. Now, this is actually a follow-up on what was what we'll occasionally have, which is a, I'm call, calling them Frico Ponders, but we don't have one today. But this is, is so I'll repeat part of that and then... Well, I got more stuff to share that's kind of related to that. And I think this is one of those situations where it's kind of a little bit of combination of how the Monday dialectical is and how our week, weekday dialectical. So I think, I think you're going to find this interesting right here because uh, parts of it, this is a lot more planned than a Monday dialectical will be because I've actually done some more writing for this. In general, Monday dialecticals, I don't write. That's the idea. The idea is that I, I find an assemblage of 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 related story excerpts and i put them in a way that i like them and i don't get too much in the details of of reading them that's because i want to get the reaction on the show and see how it might or might not synthesize it's kind of like a fun little game i get to play on on the live stream it's fun i love it so this is a it's a little bit of that it's not nearly as free as the monday show might be but a little element of that so that might be interesting for you and make sure you get the frico talks daily delivered to your email at frico.com daily and you don't miss anything including the new the the, the links for the show notes and all the regular stuffs all the stuffs <coughs> let's get into the headlines here and we're going to start recording in three, two, whoop, hold on, hold on. There we go. And now we're going to start recording in three, two, one. This is the talk headlines for Frico Talks the News on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Today's top headline, Z out of U.S. power. Dare I say it? I'm going to say it. I'm going for the camp, ladies and gentlemen. Literally. <laughs> I felt good to say. I don't care what you say. And this is an excerpt from VOANews.com. VOANews.com is an American propaganda outfit. And it is a very specific. Because America, when you say American, you really can't say American. You have to have a qualifier, a hyphen to it. <clears throat> no, I don't mean Pacific Asian American hyphen. Or something like that. No, the hyphen is a factional hyphen. I don't know that these factions have names. You use various names to describe whatever. And sometimes you, you might not even be working for the faction that you think you are. So there's all kinds of confusions there. But, it, but in general, VOA News represents the, 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 the 
do anything to get rid of Trump kind of faction in my assessment. I won't say, yes, they definitely do, but they're kind of in that. They belong to that faction. Everybody calls things the deep state. There is no deep state. It's just at various times throughout human history, these things that we call government have had factions that have, I guess you could say, caramelized around one another internally and then sought to use the structures of governance as weapons against one another's factions. And the more power that they have to take from the land around them and concentrate in the hands of a few, the more bloodthirsty these types of contests tend to be. Most of the time, the hoi polloi don't even see it. There's the, the ideal is if there's a struggle amongst the Citadelians, you only see the ripples. But in this case, the struggle is, I, this is my assessment, which I could be wrong. <clears throat> it could all be Kabuki Theater for I know. And it is possible. I think that's highly unlikely, but I have to allow for that possibility. Uh, but in general, my, my assessment is that these factions are, uh, I, I will say <clears throat> that they represent real specific divisions within the citadelian structures of the entire world and it all is stemmed around the fact that so much of it at one point <clears throat> until very recently was primarily based for anyone outside of america on on, on the immediacy with which you could talk to the American president. That was your, that was the status symbol, I would say, for all folks outside of America to demonstrate that they're part of the world citadelian. Yep, you're in the club. Now, I don't mean that it's a cabal. It is what it is. It is the reality of power as you see structures sort things out over and over and over again never never exact they're not they're not mathematical precisions that you could right i don't know if it was club nicole or who it was uh i've never been able to find that reference again so i wonder if i made it up somebody please tell me i think it was club nicole the russian poet <coughs> folk futurist i guess i'll call him uh <coughs> from the early 1900s turn of the Findesiecal kind of period of time as they as we used to refer to it uh, back in the days. Uh, anyway, he, he thought he could write with mathematical precision the, all of history and then he could predict everything. And I don't think that, I don't think mathematical precision exists such as human beings understand it. Or will be capable of understanding probably for the next at minimal thousand years. But things could change. So I went on way too long with that, but I think that was an important point, all of which just to point out that we owe a news where it is in how you should understand what, what is being written here. And so why, well, I'll show you why it's important that, that if, if I'm right in my assessment, if you understand the faction that's writing this right now. See, folks, that's why you have the background music. So when when all of a sudden you're cough-luffling, uh, because why the heck is suddenly I'm my throat is incredibly dry and the world's coming to an end, and you soldier on despite the flack, and you do so because you know my background singer's got this. If I fall down to there, say, hey, man, dead air ain't no thing. Dead air ain't no thing. That's why you do this great secret <clears throat> also if you have any audio issues of any kind this background music really helps hide that that's another reason that's a pro tip for anyone thinking about doing shows podcasts and all that why to consider background music but also you want to bust it up you want to have some silent times too well that sucks an executive order issued last week proposes to monitor and replace any U.S. power grid equipment made by the nation's foreign adversaries. Analysts said it would... Oh, this is from... Oh, I said VOA News. Oh, uh, yeah. 
I really said it. Animal analysts said it would mainly affect Chinese-made products like electrical transformers. Hmm. President Donald Trump signed an executive order on May 1st prohibiting bulk power system equipment from foreign companies in the U.S. grid, citing security concerns. The U.S. State Department, Department of Energy noted that under the current rules, contracts are awarded to the lowest bidder when it comes to bulk power system procurement, and that creates a vulnerability that can be exploited by those with malicious intent. Yeah, should have never even considered this in the first place if you're a nation state. See, this is the other thing. This is, this is the difficult problem for the United States of America and how it treats China. Because China has already been doing to America what America has been doing to the rest of the world and is actually still continuing to do. So if the United States... So long as the United States continues to rely on this methodology of controlling the lives of other humans for the sake of our own profits, which is really what it comes down to. Well, in my assessment... You guys may have variable, varied opinions. Uh, China, the way that we re respond to China's colonialization of America, if you will, calls into question our own tactics, our own methodologies with a lot of other nation states that we're still relying on continuing to allow us to do to them what we don't want China to do to us. Now, I am 100% opposed to China being in a position I'm in any nation state. We are in this nation state parameter. My neighbors outnumber me 99 to 1 as far as the people. I understand as far as I'm I'm just a I'm 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 just a dog trying to eat a bee. That's what I am if I'm trying to to, to end the coercive enterprise governance models anytime soon. So within that model, I absolutely am opposed to my nation state allowing any nation states to having to, to being dependent on any nation state whatsoever. But I'm also fundamentally opposed to my nation state putting other nation states in that position as well. That's why I don't support a world currency anymore. I don't, well... Well, yeah, I guess I did for a long time because to me, U.S. currency, oh, well, of course it's the U.S. currency. I didn't even think of that, you know, because I'm an idiot. It took me a while. To, I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. That's a long story in and of itself. But now I'm not for any world currency. I'm for I'm for decentralized currencies even within states themselves. So I'm, and I've, as a matter of fact, I have more to say about that later on, coincidentally enough. So as I'm reading this, this is a, 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 an article that is written very carefully. It, it expresses a fact. There are U.S. moves to pull Chinese equipment from its power grid. There are no emotional words in that sentence. <clears throat> there are no value words whatsoever in that sentence. So this is a... A neutral, this is a neutral position. It's a neutral headline, which is not neutral in and of itself. Especially if you're the voice of America, it's very telling. <clears throat> and, and I'll tell you what. An executive order issued last week proposes to monitor and replace any U.S. power equipment made by the nation's foreign adversaries. Now, they chose to use a value word here. But it's interesting the value word that they use because it's a value word that's ultimately pointed back at the United States. Adversary has a negative connotation. And within, well, in this context, it's, it's, it's <laughs> the way that, that I think the way that many people will read this is this is kind of like xenophobic kind of, kind of foreign. And then the word foreign. Why did they say foreign <coughs> adversaries? Now, that's not a word in quotes. Is that a phrase that they use? Foreign adversaries? Did the United States write an order referring to China as an adversary? I doubt that. 
So now they've gone from a neutral to now here. This is almost, this is kind of like if China had written it. This is the way, this is, this is, this is an easy way to subliminally get in that any U.S. power. Let's, let's see if we notice anything else as we go along here. And now these are just my uh, uh, interpretations, folks. So that's all they are. Remember that. Remember the opening of the show. So don't be upset if you're reading it. You're like, how could he see it that way? Well, like, like I do. Analysts said it would mainly affect Chinese-made products like electrical transform. Okay, I don't care. That, that, there's nothing in that system. Okay, they signed and they're prohibiting. Now, now here we have a different. This is... See, now this is what it's... This is probably closer to the language in the order. Mm -hmm. Signed an executive order. All right, let's hold on. Let's do this. Let's go visit. Let's go visit. Now, if they see adversaries here... Uh-oh, you know what? I stand corrected. Look at that. There. Adversaries. So he actually used that word. So I... There you go. You watch this is live. So I made an assumption, which is what, what I do. I don't feel bad about having assumptions wrong. Um, and then I went out. Now now we're back to, okay, now at this point, now this changes my assessment. By the way, this is, I'm analyzing propaganda. I'm showing you somewhat how you do it. Now that I have data that shows me, this isn't their words. Now they really should have put this in quotes here, I think. I definitely think they should have uh, put that in quotes to make that clear, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. But still, now we're back to we're back to to neutral again. Now this is this is this this changes my perspective on on what it tells me as as, as I see it back to neutral again. President Donald Trump signed an executive order on May first prohibiting bulk power system equipment from corn companies in the U.S. grid, citing okay, there's nothing there. Pretty new neutral neutral. Pretty neutral still. Uh, that creates a vulnerability that can be exploited by those with malicious intent. Now this is just very... I'm just not sure why they chose. This is... Now... now uh, I mean, I am still want to talk more about the VOA, but this is interesting, though, that... that they're using this type of language. That... That is... Uh, you know what? I... I'll, I'm sure that I'll have stories that come along that will take me. I'm already 13 minutes into the headline, so i got to move on. Uh, I'm sure that will come up, though. I'm sure that I will have an opportunity to talk about the thought that was in my head. But I want to keep this on uh, the VOA. So on the VOA, we're back to, once again, this is neutral. So the only problem, man, well, if I want to call it problem, the only thing that I would say that what I'm looking for from the VOA as as one of these, what what's going on with the 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 out Trump faction? This is very carefully written and very neutrally written, and it was not ultimately something that uh, you could say on its surface is even pro United States though it's not it, it's not really necessary towing the United States party line the way that I read it's pretty neutral it's very very neutral which that might be what I see from the VOA I've seen the headlines and I've seen what they've done and and they don't really necessarily they 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 write with value added words constantly they're and and most of what they put out there that's related to Donald is is not overtly anti Donald, but it's pretty close to it. It's like you you just can't have your own government propaganda machine, which is designed to put forth the American Party line, not the Democrat or Republican Party line, being a partisan going against the President of the United States, and that's what VOA has been doing. Now, whatever you think of Donald Trump. The nation-state parameter that you're in is a Republican, uh, small r, nation-state parameter. If you want to support that type of thing happening, you better support it when it's the other person's turn to have opportunity to do the same to you, and I doubt you will. 
but you'll you'll get it in return and this is just a breakdown of the republican system for those of you that wish for a republican system to be broken down i ask you what exactly do you plan on replacing it with i mean i got some non-coercive enterprise governance uh, ideas but i don't think you want to hear those so within the coercive enterprise governance models what what do you people have that will replace it that you can actually get 90 plus of, of percent of the country to agree with I, I tell you the truth you can't all of the major factions out there for their particular changes i could tell you at least 30 40 percent of the country will violently oppose it and when i say 40 percent of the country i mean perhaps 60 70 80 percent of the assets and maybe maybe 60 70 percent of the military assets you're not in as 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 comfortable a reality of power physical situation that you imagine you are if you think that you're actually going to destroy the republican system and replace it with uh, a, 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 a a a mob democracy regulatory authoritarianism that's your dream no one's well i won't say no one there's there's a broad swath of human beings including many people on the left the american left that will be violently opposed to your dreams so i tell you when i see this this indicates to me at least one possibility if i look at something like this what this propaganda tells me is that within the factions that there are at least some people in the voa who are looking and saying listen man whatever you know this guy really can like he can change stuff people can lose jobs budgets can be cut he can do stuff and some of these guys i think maybe they're thinking this guy's gonna be here he's gonna be here a lot longer than we thought so uh i don't know man so that would tell me if if i'm accurate in my assessment and i'm using the little canary the canary in the proverbial quote-unquote deep state coal mine tells me that there may be a shift within the bureaucratic tangle that uh, some of the purges are starting to have effects and some of the bureaucratic protections that people were relying on have disappeared and that maybe some people are reading the the tea leaves i'm not not saying the tea leaves are accurate because they they could see a shift all kinds of things it's, it's all in flux so to speak as far as these factions and the, the blood sport that's going on that, that you and i some of us are aware of but but very few people really are fully aware of what's going on so president donald trump signed an executive order on murray first prohibiting bulk power system equipment i'm not going to read the rest of this i'm just going to I'm just going to touch on, on a couple of these uh, lightly here because we're already at 19 minutes and it was worth it. Will forbearance tank the mortgage market? Potential wave of mortgage delinquencies this is from CNBC. Potential wave of mortgage delinquencies could bankrupt payment system. The Mortgage Bankers Association estimates that if about a quarter of all borrowers request and are granted loan forbearance for six months or longer, demands on services could exceed $75 billion and could climb well above $100 billion. That would easily bankrupt the mortgage finance system. The MBA sent a letter late Sunday to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Steve Munchen asking for cash to support mortgage service or servicers. So that is something to take a uh, watch. So all these things. I'm not going to say m anything more about that right now, but uh, certainly I'm tr I'm tracking it. I'm tracking it. So I'll keep you posted as I see more things. This was just a cute little thing. Bringing the force to the Navy. It's cute. It's whatever. Come on. Need a little bit. U.S. Navy might have robo-ships way too similar to Star Destroyers. This is from interestingengineering.com. An unmanned ship could, easy, could sail the seas at any time of year, never to be slowed down by human illness or mishaps. Moreover, it could take over mundane yet necessary duties or extremely risky operations. The U.S. Navy has teamed up with Defense Advanced Research Projects Agencies, or DARPA, DARPA, to put together a completely unmanned autonomous robotic, robotic ship concept, the NOMARS. No man, Rick. No manning. 
you know, you can't do this. And I'm actually for this. Like, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not all wiggled about it. But like, I, I would actually call this no personing required. I really would. Like, I am not against, like, I, 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 I think we should say no personing required ship. I like that. Because this manning really does continue to build these, I call heuristic institutions. So the heuristic institutions that manning does over and over again is that it keeps establishing manning as, that's got, got authority, gravitas, doing serious blowy uppy crappies. And we zero in on a particular gender construct that we have man uh, and i understand man traditionally it's human but i i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not averse to seeing man not used to say humans or persons and uh, but i'm also not all really all that upset about it either i'm not sure anybody else should because i think in time this thing is it is going to be personing people and it's not going to be because the oh, be politically correct. I'm like hey man like we're just going to change this because it kind of doesn't really it's just not going to fit that's the thing it's just not going to fit and I think for a lot of people it already doesn't fit but uh, I'm cool with it slowly dying this this particular type of thing but I don't know why I went off on that little bit but I thought that was a little bit of an opportunity to give well because I know I say a lot about SJW authoritarianism, but I want to make it clear. I, I'm not talking about throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I, I have a lot of I other disagreements, even with consensual SJWs. But uh, but I definitely agree with them kind of on this. I'm just not agreeing with the militants that insist that this means everybody's horrible because they are so comfortable with this. I don't think it means you're horrible at all. It's just what it is, man. All right, the concept shit sits low in the water and comes with a high mass to capture all communication and centers. As per the artist's illustration of Nomars, it would have four angled launchers for missiles, no windows, rails, or walkways. Well, of course not. Man, you imagine that thing coming at you, man. man. You know what, man? I could probably get a video game. I could design something better than that. That's not even. That's not even. Listen, I'm sorry. It does not look like a battleship. It is not. This is weak. I'm sorry. I, I reject your authority and I replace it with my own. And my authority says bull poopies. This looks more like, uh, oh, man. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't know. It, it just seems like something that I would see in, like, a Darkwing Duck show. Darkwing Duck super duper boat spaceship everything thing like that darkwing duck would sit right in here and maybe here you see his head pop up that's what it'd be his giant head would be right here that's what i see see there's no gravitas to this thing it's now for me it just looks like it's too goofy it's just got a goofiness about it i'm sorry i'm sorry darkwing duck it's kind of that it's kind of that there you go that's the end of this segment we'll uh We'll see you uh, with the next segment at uh, 4.30 on the Action Bots YouTube channel. And if you're watching live, uh, yeah, you don't have to wait. Oh, I stayed on headlines intro. Darn it. I didn't switch. I didn't go to the News of Light headlines. I didn't do anything. I am an utter fail. You know what? Since I forgot News of Light, I'm not going to go to you. Let's try to do it right the next time, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Because that's what you do. Wait. Oh, I don't have this in the right order. Dang. Oh, no, I got it. Here we go. All righty. Let's try to do this right. Let me get a sippy. A little sippy. A little sippa. I need a, I need a sippa. Is what I need is a sippa. And we record in three, two, one. This is a talk feature for Frigo Talks the News on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Our feature for today is Rare Earth in the U.S. No Mo. Thanks to China. But 
before we get to that, let's head on over to Obamacare.tv. Tell you a little bit of something where this is one of the places where we get our links from. And I just want to just, just look real quick at what's going on over there on Obamacare.tv. A couple links here. We got Underwater Drones Discover Battleship to Survive Atomic Blast in Both World Wars. Virus Conspiracy Theory video shows challenges for big tech. Senate narrowly rejects new limits on internet surveillance. Surprise, concern, and a little confused. Flashing warning signs in the shadow banking business. Those are just a couple of headlines that you can find there on that. On Obamacare.tv. And now, why don't we head on back to our, uh, our previously scheduled program. Already in progress. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I went for that big ball of cheese. I went for that. I did that for you. So this is tour mode, and that was the the link on it for that was the the feature text thingy from yesterday. And now I must consider this tour mode. I do not believe that tour mode is relevant to this story. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, tour mode's reign has ended. It is done. It didn't make it to the next story. And the next story is. Rare earth in the U.S., no mo, thanks to China. Thanks to the bellicosity now smoldering out of the land of Z, Americans are finding some of their green love shifting to third world countries has a, has a, has a nasty side effect. You know what, I gotta, I gotta read that in a way that it makes sense, because it's all about the cables with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Americans are finding some of their green love shifting to third world countries has a nasty side effect. Makes you dependent on potential thugs that will thug you if you give them half the chance. Now, nah, as a thug yourself, you know full well the benefits of creating dependence on America by our obedient vassals. You also know the cost of being the vassal. The reduced quality of life, or at least the ceiling on quality placed on our vassal state pours. To that end, some of the citadelians of American have, well, of America, have found that their butter might still be breaded by the same American pores. So their ceilings are ones that could affect these families. To that end, America will once again scour the land for the precious jewels that will make us dependent free on China's rare earth. U.S. takes step to answer China's rare earth elements monopoly. Ah, I can only get it as big as that. I should have uh, fixed this in post. Actually, I, I should have fixed it pre-show. pre, pre, pre -show. Not in post, sir. You know what? I'll fix this in post. Don't worry. I'll edit this part out. I'll, I'll replace it with really beautiful text. And if you see this and you didn't see that, that means I... Well, that's probably what happened. I probably didn't do it. I didn't fix it in post. You're going to have to deal with this. I apologize. Humbly. There are 17 rare earth elements that America depends on for our military and civilian use, but we do not have the capacity to mine and produce them. For that, we must rely on China. China. That's a song from the 80s. From 1952 until the 1990s, the Mountain Pass Mine in California was one of the world's only suppliers of rare earth elements. And then the green folks came in and says, Dear Lord, please do not allow us to defile your land in this way. Let us get this venality out of our land and let's rely on poorer people to destroy their land and then we'll make money easy money off of that dear lord dear lord you can insert whatever you want to put in there whatever whatever your thing is as rick mills explained in mining.com in 1980 nuclear regulatory commission an international atomic energy agency you're gonna love this this is i mean this is how they're wording it I'm going to, oh, oh, you know what? There we go. We have our moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your moment of zen. Hold on. Why am I trying to add? I have created, 
I have created a madness for this machine. A machine that I shall present to you. Not because I can, but because I must. Not because I must, but because I shall. Or, what, did I go? I got a little bit, got a little bit carried away. I feel bad. I, I believe that I just peed myself. Not gonna lie. No, I did not. I did not. I did not, ladies and gentlemen. Urinate. I did not go void into the pantage. I remained clean. But there's your word, ladies and gentlemen. There's your word. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that. I should probably put it in white, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I think it's it's gonna stay there. Needs to not be right. Misclassified rare earth elements and place the mining of them under the same regulation of thorium. Now the song is in my head, so I. It was rhythmically there. I took it. A radioactive element that is removed when processing heavy rare earth elements. This error. Error. You know what? Hold on. I think we got to add to this then. There we go. There we go. There we go. Made the processing of rare earth elements an increasingly dangerous and costly business. New onerous regulations on thorium made the mining and refining of thorium-bearing rare earth elements risky. Over the next two decades, the U.S. rare earth mining industry collapsed. Mills explained. I'm sure he didn't sound like that when he said it, but he does now. And if you ever hear this, Mills, Mrs. Who is this? Rick Mills? If you ever hear this, Rick Mills, own it. Live it. Love it. Learn it. Become it. You'll thank me in the end. In the western suburbs of Denver lies a key component of America regaining independence from China's hold on rare earth element processing. There, according to the Denver Post, CEO of USFA Rare Earth, Pini Altus. Oh, that's a really cool name. Pini Altus said. Pini Altus. You know what, I'm just going to highlight it. That's all I'm doing. I can't take away misclassified air. I'm sorry. Under any other situation, Pini, I would have given you some marquee moments, but... Sorry, misclassified error must sustain itself probably to the end of this segment and then carry it over to the next, I think. Our Colorado pilot plant will be the first processing facility outside of China with the ability to separate the full range of rare earths, lights, mids, and heavies. USA Rare Earth teamed with the Texas Mineral Resource Corporation to build the Wheat Ridge facility, which is expected to be completed to, which is expected to be complete. I'm sure they had a t two missing. I do that. These are the errors that are really hard to uh, catch a lot, is the ones that are not spelling errors. Ah, spelling errors you can get because you got the magic. But these, man, mm, I hate that. I feel your pain, whoever wrote this, which ex is expected to be complete in the next few months. Once the week Ridge facility opens USA Rare Earth USA Rare Earth plans to move the equipment to the round top mine misclassified error hey Frank we got a problem yeah well I mean I mean Rare Earth in the US is expensive but listen China's got themselves some situations over there by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever if you're new to the show, it's always Frank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you listen, listen. People over here, we gotta like. We got the EPA. We got, we got people with guns. We got people with power over here. That China doesn't have to deal with, and they can get people in. And you know, I'm just saying. Wouldn't that kind of put us in like a bad style? Come on, man. China's nothing. They got no power. Dude, dude. Come on, dude. We can make some bank, dude. Dude, we can make it. Come on, baby. Get them honeys. You know what I'm saying. All the flavor of honeys, whatever you into, man. It's there for you, brother. It's on a 
Listen, I know a dude with a plane that takes you to an island. All your dreams come true, dude. Come on in. Welcome to the party. Come on. Come on in, friend. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's kind of, in one way, shape, form, and variations, and it's not always a plane with an island. It's whatever it is. That's what happened. That's misclassified error. That's why I, I had to keep misclassified error up, because I want you to understand, misclassified error. There was no error. Let me continue. Let me bring Frank back into this. Yo, Frank! Yo, so we're on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but what you got for me? Yo, man, I put my, I put my best lawyer's stuffs on this, man. Listen, I got, I got, I got, I got, uh, I got Jennifer and uh, and the Fanon over there. And let me tell you something, dude. Let me tell you something. They be racking it up. They got this thing. This thing. Listen, thorium, thorium, mother, thorium. Listen. I do this. I do this. I want to make sure. Not just me. I got family. I want in. I want. I want in. Cause this is. This comes back, dude. This comes back to me. And man, I ain't walking out of here alive. Cause you know, you know, this is security risk, right? You know what this means. Like I'm not expecting. Like I ain't expecting ten thousand dollars. I'm. I'm expecting a lifetime golden freaking ticket to ever to, to awesome forever yo frank we got you frank come on just do it just just write the little just do it all right it's classified error nobody nobody allows a misclassified error to be the reason that you hand over your fundamental vital security advantage over the rest of the world so that corporations can get cheap labor. I mean, that's what happened in essence. I don't really think people really care what happened afterwards because I think most of them that did these deals knew that they'd be dead way before the all the bills came to be paid. We We are the ones left to pay the bills, so to speak. And I think with that, we're going to end this segment. Don't forget, you know, if, if you thought, if you liked the song that I sung and you need a voice like mine telling people about misclassifieds and errors, then tip me, man. Tip your news. Tip your Frico. Go to Frico.com. Find a big old button. Let's see if this thing is fixed or if I got to fix this. Because the other day, it wasn't working. Oh, and there it's working again. All right. There it is. There it is. There it is wasn't working the other day. I had a little issue with it. Man. You know what? I'll take this. You know what? I'm going to move this. I'm going to move you. Listen, there you go. I'm going to leave you right there. You can see that. So you can see the little little jammy jam there. $1, $2, or if you're one of the people in the stories that are one of the uh, the citadelians or vassals, close close related vassals, you know, you need to do like give yourself a day to feel like you're a good human being and give me a gazillion dollars. Don't expect anything in return because you ain't getting nothing in return. I'm still going to I'm still gonna rag on you. But for one day, you get to feel like I am a good and noble person and then the next day you have to face the fact that you're a schmuck. And then, uh, and then, and, and if you want to stop feeling like you're a schmuck, then just continue to find more people like me to do that for. And the gazillion is just a metaphorical. Just make it, make it, how about this? Well, let's just say $9.73 million. That's the amount of money that you'd have to give me for me to be able to grant you the the right to feel good about yourself for the rest of the day. For, for, for the next 24 hours. I'll do that. Nope. $10.4 million for that. $10.4 million, 24 full hours. There you go. You're welcome. We'll see you uh, at 5 p.m. with the next segment, uh, talk, fo talk Focus, which is going to be Musk's conscripts Tesla Army. But if you're watching live, you don't have to wait.
All righty. Hey, I remembered the the stuff to do the stuff, and I still don't have all this in the right order. So now I have to go back to where the focal points are. Got to go to the focals. I think the focals are down here. Focals are down here. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. there's. Hold on, I got to fix something. Oh, that's wonderful. That's right. Okay, so this is gonna work out. Okay, so so for this show. Yes, I did miss the news of lights, and no, I'm not going to do the news of lights for this show. So go to newslight.com, you'll see the links for news of light. But I am going to mention it again when I do the news poem, because for the news poem, I, I do. That's what I'm going to do my usual promo. I'm just, I'm just doing what I got to do. I hope you guys don't mind the promo parts. I try to keep them pretty minimal, but I do, I do, I do want to, I do want to, I do want to promote the networking and stuff. This is way too big. There we go. There, see. I have come a long way because I could have went into a launch of some inappropriate, comedic, vaudevillian kind of slapsticky and bluish kind of ends when I said what I said earlier that I did not. And I want to pat myself on the back for the decency with which I just manifest myself to the rest of the world. My welcome. Thank me. You gotta do that at least once a day in order to keep the uh, voices in your head. Never mind, I was just making a joke and then I realized, no, you guys will take it seriously. You never know, that's the thing I play around with. Uh, I really want to do some really wild, weird stuff. And the same hand, I'm like, yeah, I never know if you'll think that when I'm serious that I'm not serious or if I'm not serious that I am serious. Oh, gosh. Well, come what may. This is news art. First and foremost, let you know this is news art. No actual, this is no similarity to any person's uh, living or dead, including myself, Frico. Frico is a figment of, of everyone's imagination. But so are you and so am I. Ooh. I know I was going for total cheese. That's not deep at all. There's, there's, I could break that down and tell you why, but then I'd have to kill you. See? See what I mean? Right right there, you would think, no, man, look, man, he really he, he meant it. He meant it, man. He meant it. I mean, forget. If you have a ping trip, if I ever became known in ping trip, you would not have a hard time cutting stuff up and making me look like I could say some really crazy stuff quite easily if ping trip ever decided to get a hold of me. And ping trip, peace, please do. I would love it if you could take the time to edit up and turn me into a star and you'll probably get very little of it for from it in return, but that's okay. I appreciate your time and your effort, and it's going to be comedy gold. You do it, Pink Trip. And if anybody sees this and you know Pink Trip, send my video to make sure Pink Trip. Or I think I think I got your name right. If I didn't, I'll embarrass it. I'm I'm, hor I'm horrified right now. I'll never live this down. Thank thankfully nobody will see this video. So if I if I made a complete fool of myself, the only people that will know it is my my wife and my. Uh, She's probably going to divorce me after this. She said one more screw up on YouTube and you're out. So this is going to be difficult. I'm going to soldier on though. I'm going to go until I can't go no more. That's what you do. You go until you can't go no more. So let's start recording in three, two, one. This is a talk focus for Frico Talks the News on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. I am Frico with Frico.com. If all goes well, this is going to be a short focus. We'll see. Musk conscripts Tesla Army. That's going to be our top focus. But I want to speak briefly about how we got some of the stories that we got for our top focus. Because it's, 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 it comes in part from PioneeringNews.com. You go to PioneeringNews.com and... Let's just, there's a couple of latest links that are on pioneersnews.com. Across China, uh, repairers breathe new life into ancient murals. Ancient shape-shifting vampire demon anchovy had sober, saber tooth and fangs. Microscopic feather features explain why these terrifying dangerous birds shine. And Reddit to launch Ethereum-based tokens for cryptocurrency at Fortnite subreddits. These are just some of the news links that you'll find on pioneeringnews.com, which is in part where I get the stories that lead to the, to the stories I pick for our focuses for the day. And here is our top focus. Musk conscripts Tesla Army.
So I have been, for a while now, strongly opposed to the whole shutdown palooza we've all been experiencing during Coronavilles with my one giant caveat being that while I support people having the choice to risk coronavirus and open businesses and go back to work, I also support supporting people that choose not to risk coronavirus and open business or go back to work. Apparently, Elon Musk has no problem arranging for a de facto conscription Tesla army to protect the army of benevolence. His marketing <coughs> would suggest to you that he represents. <coughs> He's let his dependents know that they can come to work or they can stay home. But they won't be getting any monetary aid. Not even for the government, because we've let them know, no so far go! That's pretty much what he did here. Except this, well, the other guy really meant it too. The soup Nazi really meant it too. Is Elon the soup Nazi? And I, I, I mean it like we meant it for the soup Nazi. I'm not suggesting at all the Elon. Elon is not a Nazi, but the soup Nazi is a soup Nazi. He's a soup Nazi. Pretty much. No so far go! Here's an excerpt from Vice. Elon Musk is offering Tesla workers a deal. Violate California's stay-home order or don't get paid. I think that might be past that point now. I don't think he's dealing with it in that way. But it doesn't really matter. Even without, even if California stay at home. See, that's my problem with this. And this is it's the responsibility Within your nation state parameter, my 99% neighbors that want nation statism, and I'm not trying to end it, I can't. Within the nation state parameters, one of the most, one of the key legitimizations of government is in times of apocalyptic crisis, the government will take care of us. And the government is the one that says, we's all going to die if we go to work. And so people rightly have an expectation that they are facing. Now, I don't believe that they are, but that doesn't matter. I don't know that they're not right. I could die of coronavirus. I don't know if I've been exposed to it. I'm in, I wouldn't say a high, high risk, but a somewhat risk. I'm over 50. I have some degree of high blood pressure. I've got, I don't have any super, but I'm in a somewhat risk. I could die of coronavirus. People healthier and younger than me have died of it. And if I died, I, I would hope that my last breath would be, I don't regret anything I said because I don't believe I would, even if I died of it, regret when I say, based on what I understand, I don't think coronavirus is, it's, it's more than the flu. It warranted a measure of what we have done. But we have gone far beyond practicality. And I believe that the powers that be darn well know this. And I believe Elon Musk knows this. Like, he might really know this. Not because he's smart, just because he has the, the, the means to have access to the type of raw data that we don't have access to. All we get are filtered data, and the filtered data is being disseminated to us by 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 liars. All almost everyone is lying to you, or if they're not lying to you, they're like me. The best that I can offer to you is some degree of 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 effort to give you a, an analysis of the lies. But mind you, not everything they say is lies. Most of what they say is true. 85 or more percent of what they say is true. But the lies are in the areas that matter most. The lies that convince people that they're risking way more than they are if they go to work. You did this. So you are responsible to take care of these people and not force them to, by their perception, risk their lives and their families' lives by going to work when they could they could do just fine on unemployment in some instances better than let them on unemployment elon who the heck are you just because you even if you know that you know that you know you know that they can't know are you that stupid elon that you don't realize that you know you should know that they can't know and i'm not saying that you do you could be wrong i don't know what he knows 
But just say, just say in this hypothetical, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he knows. I don't care if he knows that he knows that he knows that he's true. No, you can't do this. This is coercive. You are using the state to, to conscript an army. And I don't care what your reasoning is. I don't care if you if you think whatever vehicle of power that you've decided to adopt to help you justify this, to give you a reason to create a conscription army, because that's what you've done. You've created a conscription army. And I am for the workers here. I and this is this is why you have this is what what workers have been seeing during this. This is why the message of the left is and I I know the 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 message of the left. I I'm not I'm not on their side. Uh, trust me, I'm not I'm not on their side any more than I am the right. I've, I've long explained why that is. But the but the message of the left is so much more appealing right now to the workers because what especially workers in large scale systems like in Amazon and Walmart and all and all the chains of grocery stores and all what are all so many of these workers looking at and realizing is when push comes to shove people will just shove us into the front lines like body bags and not give up that's the message that the world has sent to our workers now the shrilleries of the left They've they've helped create a climate that gives the workers, I think, a reasonable justification to fear going to work because of all the crap that the everything about the left is every opportunity that you can to dismantle what is you grab that opportunity. And that's 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 simply what you're seeing. Well, I won't get into that. I'll have more more than ample opportunities. and I've already spoken somewhat on it, but I'll just leave it at that. So. As you could tell, this thing, this thing is a challenge. Was a challenge. If I was gonna, if I was gonna lose my opportunity to get closer to twenty-one days in a row or twenty-one shows in a row without freaking out, it was this story. This is why the right, the right is so tuned deaf. You do not understand. And what, what's more is, so many people on the right are these same workers. Again, it's it's the poor's that are turning on the poor's. The right is turning on the. Le the, they're they're enabling this type of thug thuggery for workers, but the left is enabling this type of thuggery against owners and business managers and even workers, workers who for their own reasons have decided that no, I don't believe it's as much of a threat, and I want to go to work. They are restricting them. Everybody is 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 using government guns to try to force their sure view of the world on everyone else with no no thought to the consequence against one another we are one another we poors are one another apparently elon musk has no well this is from them not me apparently elon musk has no problem arranging for a de facto con oh no this is me that's right i did write this what am i saying yes of course i'm glad yes of course this is me they do they wouldn't write this they should call it a de facto conscription army, but they didn't. Uh, so this is from someone named my, Ryan Mack. Here's an email Musk sent to Tesla factory workers at 12.55 a.m. highlighting the extremely honorable task of making electric cars during the country shelter in. If you do not feel comfortable coming to work, you can stay home and will be on unpaid leave. An email obtained by The Guardian from Tesla's management workers. Right Now here's where it, this is the part here. This is the part. I'm going to I'm first I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to translate it into blood and bone. Ready? Choosing choosing not to go wait. I'm going to I'm going to try to talk like hello hello uh so uh choosing not to report to work may eliminate or reduce your eligibility sure 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 for unemployment depending on your your state's Sure, sure, sure. Uh, unemployment agency, huh? Huh? Not so funny, oh! That's that's what that is. Grabbing the reel into cut and paste, literally out of the air. That's grandma, 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 grandma was. See a tasty catch. Not that grandma is tasty. Just you'll see. I I thought about shit. I never mind. I went with it. I carried through with the commitment. 
we're doing this. See a tasty, catch a tasty, a visual tasty, that is. And you are catching that visual tasty in a digital storehouse where you can pull it out again and again, cutting and pasting that visual tasty on anything you like. Grandma's are got a poop face. Now that becomes a 3D printed Chia Pet for family members this Christmas. That's right. You see Grandma there. It's like, I got a poop. Wait, I'm going to make this bigger, right? Nah. Not too big. There you go. I got a poo. Oh, snap. And then later, Grandma opens up her Christmas gift, and it's this. And and she can grow plants out of her, her frontal areas. And she can do like a little thing. You can like have like spider plants growing out. And then on her head, she could have more some stupid spider plant thingies. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, I would, I would love that chia pet. I would love that chia. Yeah, come on, you tell me you wouldn't want that chia. Pet. Now that becomes a three D printed chia pet for family members this Christmas. You can see the potential, the surreal, the sublime. See, that's where my head went to right away. Wait, what is weird, sublime, bizarre out there? Uh, yeah. The lulls and yes, the useful with this beta level app called AR Copy Paste. This is from Venture B. AR Copy Paste uses AI to transfer real objects into productivity apps. Currently in an invite only beta. Invite only beta. Invite only beta. You know what? Just as a, a highlight of the absolute abysmal failure of my utter worthless life, I think that it's appropriate for me. I'm going to put this up here right now. Right now. I'm going to just put it up here. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it black, just black with nothing else. No frills. Just no, no, I'm going to make it red. I'm going to make it red with no frills. Yeah, red, red, like a stamp, like a stamp of disapproval. <sighs> Here it is. There it is, lady. Ladies and gentlemen, and days, and all of you, everyone, all of humanity, all of humanity. There it is. Invite only. Beta. I should be using this right now. I should be using this. Oh, imagine if you could. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to go blue. Way bluer than the grandma thing. The grandma thing wasn't blue at all. If you if you found anything blue in that, shame on you. That was pure fun and heart heartfelt. Good, good, wholesome fun. Okay, currently invite only. This lets me know. See, if I was a winner, I would be one of these people. But since I'm not, I'm a loser. I have a failure. Thank you. Thank you, Cyril. Cyril Diognes. AR copy paste. Thank you, Cyril. You make me feel good about myself. Just kidding. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Can be held up to plants, clothes, books, magazines, and other physical objects using a seemingly simple interface to snap a photo of each item before transferring it to an identified space in an open document. The user can simply point their Android phone or iPhone at the real object, wait a few seconds for the object to be identified in its background, automatically removed using machine learning, and then point at the place on the computer screen where the digital facsimile should be pasted. Dude, you can literally just use your phone. You like you point your phone. You're like, <laughs> Grandma poop face. <laughs> wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. That was my phone unplugging, but it was worth it. All right. <laughs> so it'd be like, hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, hey, Grandma, what you doing? Uh, what you doing there, Grandma? Standing in the, standing in the, what, the I got poop. Oh, my gosh. Click. Oh, great. And, then, and now I'm going to, I'm going to send. All right. There instantly. Instantly. That's what I saw in the hallway just now. And then you click on it, and then that's Grandma. See how that works? That is a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want so many 
So many. Oh, you're 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 driving along and you see a really really awesome, super awesome car thingy, hybrid, bizarre Rolls Royce Yugo combination with with nuclear missiles on the back, and you're like, that actually exists. Zip zip. What? Hold on. Then it's uh zip zip and then and then it's right there in your little 3d printing it and then and then you and then you're playing with it not that i would play with such things i don't play with toys no one plays with toys not even children anymore no one plays with anyone anything everybody just types and emojis and 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 Video loops, just video loops. We're all just video loops at this point. And that's the end of this segment, The Focus. Also reached the halfway point of the show. So you'll have to wait till the uh, 5.30 p.m. show to hear the news poem. And the news poem is going to be... It is... uh, Making my digital figure out on its own figure it out on its own that's a poem for clara of course i think i think you all knew that and i never did change to this point here this is where i should have shifted to this is making that's that's the news poem coming up but listen folks don't forget to tip your frico at frico.com slash tip or you can go to frico.com find a big old orangey yellowy button and click on that and send me a gazillion dollars no no, no, nothing expected in return other than my warm heart of joy of thanks. That's it. And then quickly I'll forget that someone sent it to me and I'll find a way to make it that, well, of course, the universe owed this to me and then I'll not even appreciate it. I'm just kidding! Of course I'll appreciate it. I will appreciate it. Will. All right. We'll see you at 5.30. Or, yeah, 5.30. I think, yep, 5.30. And if you're watching live, you don't have to wait that long. <clears throat> you do have to wait, though, ladies and gentlemen, because we have come upon the halfway part of the show. So let's get to the... Where do we want to be here? Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Talking about no... There we go. There we go. Here we go. We're getting ready. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the, well, actually, we're over the halfway point because we only got two segments left, and we don't even have a ponder today, so definitely only two segments left. We have five shows since I last freaked out. We are halfway or more than halfway towards possibly changing that five to a six at the end of the show, so stay tuned as we prep the universe to give you the breakage that all of us need. Especially me with the innie with the water thingy. Yes, it's a very important uh, task that one performs during breaks. We'll see you. We'll see you soon.
Love overwhelmed me. Oh, yeah. I did it. I made the transition, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always proud of myself <coughs> when I successfully make that transition because that one is an easy one to miss. And if I miss the transition, you know what I say to myself? You just got to keep going, soldier. You got to keep going, soldier, until they run out of bullets or you run out of bullets. Whichever comes first makes no never mind. Or some crap like that. Man, I could do voiceover work. I should think about that. What do you guys think? Could I do voice? Could I? Could I be an anime voiceover guy? Hachi san! I don't understand! Where is the fire that's coming out of my bed? Oh, ha! your punch, Jose! Out of my bed! Ha! Yeah, I could do it. I don't think I could sustain that. Sustain that. Hold on. Wow, that was, <clears throat> you know, when you're dealing with a cough, by the way, this is an acid reflux cough is what I'm dealing with. I've said this before. <coughs> this is, my throat is acid stripped <coughs> today. <coughs> that's the fundamental problem that's going on. So, uh, yeah, when you know you have that, you should probably try not to do anime kind of character person. So that was inappropriate and I apologize, but we're soldiering on my friends. Or soldiering on. We're going to soldier on. But before we do, we've got to prepare. Because some of you, some of you are a wee bit, a wee bit, uh, uh panaminated, if you will. It's a real word. Look it up. It's a Celtic, ancient Celtic word. It means I, I'll, I'll, well, I'll do bad things to your mother, which I should not repeat on this show. And I shan't. I shan't. And now, I shall adopt the upper crust veneer. Because now, I shall escape. On the scale when the authorities of <coughs> Warning, the material you're about to be physically born in the mind of individuals who are limited in their capacity to understand the actual reality of power around them, just as you and everyone else in the life form you are. What you're about to hear are opinions, suppositions, like gospel, or scientific groups, not infallible certainties. Brace yourself for incoming opinions that could confirm or deny your preferential view of the reality of power. Brace yourself for fallible material, fallible opinions, and values reflected, but nonetheless variably firm and real. We do not apologize to anyone in our we do not apologize for daring to express our views and impressions of what we believe is and what we hope to see. We will keep talking so long as we are able. And now, Frigo attempts to talk about the news without freaking out. That's the plan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I plan on doing that for you, 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 the people. That's, wait, you, the people, you, the people. He said to the people, I do this for you. We're about ready to, to get into the, to the news poem section of TV. So let's 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 prepare ourselves. Uh, you know what? Why don't we start right here? <clears throat> We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do a little introduction like this, so we get more of that transition, baby. More of that transition, love. You know what that transition tells people? You know why people have transitions? Well, primarily transitions say authority, say standing, say construct, say is was always will be. <clears throat> That's why. It is the factitious that we are mesmerizing with our factitious uh, lies so that uh, you will not deconstruct our words too heavily and you allow us to flow <coughs> into the uncertainty in a manner in which we still manage to pull off a certain Tarian pose. Oh, that makes sense. If you play it back and listen to it, that really does make sense. All right. <coughs> with that, let's record the news poem. All right, I know what I'm going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be looking at our news poem. <laughs> but before we do, I want to share with you how we got to this place. Where did the news poem come from? We went to newsalight.com. Where we found the glitz, the odd, the under the radar, the hard to believe news at a glance. Then we went to Obamacare.tv, free market digital, social, free market social engineering for the masses. And finally, pioneeringnews.com. 
tech, science, underground news links, all sites aggregated and run by yourself, yours truly, Frico. And I send the best of the best of the best, subjectively speaking, stories to Frico.com. And when I send the stories to Frico.com, the most important story that I select, subjectively speaking, is the one for the news poem. And today's news poem is... Making my digital figure it out <coughs> on its own. A poem for Clara. The man who is credited with birthing IBM's Watson is working on a new project teaching AI common sense. He started a company and called it Elemental Cognition. A wonderful name, if I might say so myself. I should probably type the word I when I want to say it. But I said, screw it, I'll figure it out. It succinctly delivers the fullness of the intent of a company that will teach AI the things we know without thinking. <clears throat> the common sense. <laughs> I call these, well, it in part describes what I'm saying here. The heuristic institutions that make our reflexive lives possible at all. <clears throat> Here's an excerpt from Wired.com. Watson's creator wants to teach AI a new trick. Common sense. David Ferrucci, the man <coughs> who built ABM's, it says that, but I didn't do that. IBM's Jeopardy playing machine, Watson, is explaining a children's story to his new creation. Ferrucci and his company, Elemental Cognition, hope to fix a huge blind spot in modern AI by teaching machines to acquire <coughs> and apply everyday knowledge that lets humans communicate, reason, and navigate our surroundings. We use common sense reasoning so often and so easily that we barely notice it. A year after Jeopardy, after the Jeopardy match, <coughs> Ferrucci left to form Elemental Cognition. And then I put this in here because it wasn't, well, it's a long thing that I cut out. That's where he created Clara. Clara aims to go further by combining deep learning techniques with more old-fashioned ways of building knowledge into machines through explicit logical rules like the fact that plants have leaves and need light. It uses a statistical method to recognize concepts like nouns and verbs and sentences. It also has a few pieces of what's known as core knowledge, like the fact that events happen in time and cause other things to happen. <laughs> knowledge about specific subjects is crowdsourced from mechanical turkers. Mechanical Turker. See, I love this. This is this is going up on the wall. This is going up on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, eventually, when I have a, a, a massively huge audience, and I will within, I guess, seven more weeks, six, five and a half more, well, really, a little bit over five weeks, I guess. <clears throat> uh... When I do these things, these will be turned into instant uh, T-shirts, and I'll sell them, and I'll make more money off you guys, and you'll enjoy it, and I'll enjoy it, and you'll be feeding a good human being that's going to do good things for a lot of people, especially himself and his, his wife and his kid, especially those three. Yep. <coughs> there you go. Hold on. I think that, you know what, I just want to kind of just, it's kind of in your face. Okay. I think that I have to change the color, though. We want this, we want it to be something that is welcoming even as it intrudes in our lives. So we want to have it more gentle but still abrasive enough. Maybe we need a bit of a shading because of the certainty with which we want to claim that word. We don't want to leave it opaque in any way. <coughs> Ambiguous. Mechanical turkers speak for themselves. And they should be highlighted justly and appropriately. Let's just see how we got that. That's a that's about that's a that's about right. There you go. It was worth it. Knowledge about specific subjects is crowdsourced from mechanical turkers and then built into Clara. This might include, for example, that light causes plants to thrive and windows allow light in. In contrast, a deep learning model fed the right data might be able to answer questions about botany correctly. 
but it might not. Ah, oh, yeah. Wow, we still have this up. That's interesting. Magnetic framboids is up. That's interesting. So this is not the right tag that I... Oh, I changed the feature text thingy. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Would I have replaced magnetic framboids? <clears throat> that's tough. You know what? I'm going to leave this circumstance up for... If I get it tomorrow... Well, no, it'll be up for Tuesday's show. No, no, tomorrow, tomorrow, Monday show. All right. I'm going to do this. So the next show, if you remember, the, the feature show tomorrow, it's going to begin <laughs> with Mechanical Turkers. Let's see if I... I don't even... I doubt I'll even remember what it is. <laughs> Woo! Because <sighs> we're going to keep this. We're going to keep this right now. This is not... I would have kept this. I would not have changed that over for this. This is beautiful. I'm not changing that. Not yet. I can't let you go. I can't let you go, baby. Magnetic Framboids. That's from yesterday's show. Clara also gathers common sense by interacting with users. And if it comes across a, co a contradiction, it can ask which statement is most often true. It's hard to say how much progress... Ferrucci has made towards giving AI common sense in part because elemental cognition is unusually secretive. Unusually? Weird. It recently published a paper arguing that most efforts at machine understanding fall short and should be replaced by ones that ask deeper questions about the meaning of text, but it hasn't published details of its system or released any code. What you need to do is you need to equip the AI with the mechanisms for analyzing the universe, and then you need to give the AI a core preference to pursue. If you give it a, the right core preference or the right combination of core preferences, the AI will create itself. I am not sure that this is what this is what they are going to be talking about, but this is my vision, El Frico. I am the Frico. Sometimes this is who I am. I am not denying it is, is what it is. I float into the universe in all types of ethnological spears. Spears, not spheres. Spears. Haloed spears, though. Haloed spears, so it's okay. <coughs> all right. So... Um, that made me lose my train of <laughs> the spears. I can get back into it, though. It's hard to say how much progress Ferrucci has made towards giving AI common sense. Okay, so, yeah, my general theory is that we're going to create, we're going to, we'll, we'll understand the, the fun, we won't understand with finiteness. So there's always going to be a bit of a, how, how did your AI buddies, how, how did they turn out? Because they're not going to be the same. They'll have their own personalities. They're. And it'll be arguable as to whether they're they're alive or not. But one thing I think that ultimately will happen, probably the first step towards them being, and I think that the fundamental AIs are not going to be the androids. It's going to be, like I said, the buddies. You can compete with androids easily. All you do is you got your AI buddies on board. You can compete with any android. You're jacked up. You probably have a huge advantage between the 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 types of uh, human maneuvering and the the way that the AI there uh, I am sure well not 100 percent sure but I'm relatively sure that the AIs that uh, they'll, there will be a fundamental gap between the AIs and the humans in the same sense that I'll say metaphorically I I believe literally but metaphorically <coughs> the gap between God and and creation is always that God has an understanding of the is was and it will always be. And that that is was always will be is something that gives God a knowledge that is past our capacity. So, as a metaphor, in this sense, we're talking about uh, hmm. I have to think about that. So, in in this sense. <coughs> We're dealing with a situation where the AI is 
it sounds like in the Ferrucci thing that that it's uh, that they think that if they challenge the AI just to ask, they, they're giving the AI a pursuit of knowledge. That's fundamentally what they're asking for. They're asking for the AI to pursue knowledge, and I think that they need to give AI a a core preference, and it it's not going to be to pursue knowledge. <clears throat> Because then you have to ask, like, you have to ask the right questions. 43. 42. Oh, I said 43. 42. 42! Well, you didn't ask the right question. Like that. <coughs> so, I did have a train of thought there, and I kind of lost it. And that happens every once in a while, especially when I got magnet magnetite framboids floating. Now I have to decide. This is the really tricky part. Making my digitals figure it out on its own, a poem for Clara. I have to ask myself. Let me see what I got going on here. Let's see. Huh. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder if I can make a decision on the fly. Because I kind of like this. I want to see if I can maybe get you over here. Get you a little bigger. Huh. Uh, I can move you down. Well, I'm making this decision on the fly, ladies and gentlemen, because I think I might want to use this. Somehow I feel like this is the type of... There we go. I like this. <coughs> what do you guys think? You let me down. Comment down below if that's true. I like this setup. I just made a unilateral decision. Actually, this whole thing is going to get worked over this weekend. I might actually do some stuff today, too. I'm not sure. All right. Making my digital figuring figure it out on its own. A poem for Clara. Use a statistical method in the apex pursuit. I found my light in the sand filled with ice cold salt water divots where the shells hit the beach. Machine turning. Yet oxygen does not affect the dial. Leaves and need light. Heuristic. Elemental. I pick my hand up and ensure I can grasp wonder with no machine code required to internalize, memorize, scan, tracking the physiological constraints of the math in flow common. Combining deep learning techniques with more old meaning of text before the sun rose and we all felt another day and we passed. Now the sun is a stain and our wine-soaked skies pelt us with the flames. Metaphorically, I conjectured the metaphor is the archetypal element in purest visceral form. I conjectured. I dialed it in. There was, it turns out, a mathematical precision, but one that does not emerge before the flow occurs. <laughs> Math in flow, where the after is the precise alone. Institutional efforts at machine understanding fall. Sense. I, I woke up to the sun. I saw machines rolling through space, glittered with wonders from the span of the galaxies of the fourth confederation of the last sentience of quadrant 123. I smoked less, but other than that, I slept in my programs and designed tears from the, the first impulse I ever held. Diode light. Knowledge into machines. Cognition. Crowdsourced from mechanical turkers. Assemble me, baby. Let me find out for myself. About botany correctly. Impulse and in towards in the apex pursuit use 
a statistical method. Oh yeah, I like that one. And then, you know, there's the, the thing is back. And you know what? I'm glad. It's perfect because you know what? I think I wouldn't have wanted it here. But I'm happy to have it stay on here for consideration for the next... Uh, I'm, I'm saying, you know what? A little glitch in the system and you survived. If, uh, if I was going to read from here, I would have had to have taken you down. But I didn't have to make that choice. Magnetite fanboys, you live another day. And we live another day. We live another segment, at least. We got another segment coming up. This is the, if you're if you're looking at the segments on the on the channels, as a, I believe this is the 6 p.m. segment. Let's see, F oh geez, Zoey, gee, Zoey, four four thirty, five five. Yeah, it's the six o'clock. The dialectical. I got to get used to the new times because now I'm I'm releasing them in shorter periods, every half hour instead of every hour. So the dialectical for today is micro value exchange overcoming value exchange monopolies. That's our dialectical that we will end with. And if you're watching live, you don't have to wait. All righty, I got one more segment, ladies and gentlemen. One more segment left. I got one more segment left, ladies and gentlemen. And if I get through this segment, and I, and I think I will, because this is a good story. I, I will get through this. Then that means that I'll be able to change that five to a six. And we're just a little bit closer. You stay with me. You all stay with me. We'll see if we can ride this to 22. 22 shows in a row. We break the world record that I set previously of 21 shows in a row. Having broken the previous record of four shows. Now, today, second place is now five shows. Second place could be six shows after today. So stay with me, friends. We're going to be recording the last segment of the day. In three, oh, let me get lined up here. Here we go. In three, two, one. These are the dialecticals for Frico Talks the News on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. My name is Frico with Frico.com. Today's dialectical is called Micro Value Exchange Overcoming Value Exchange Monopolies. That's what we're going to be looking at here today, folks. It's exciting, it's real, it's what's happening, it's now. And I got a little bit extra, so this is based off of the ponder that I had done on yesterday's show. I didn't post that ponder, and I didn't because I thought, you know, I think I'm going to follow up with that. So I didn't actually post the ponder, I actually recorded it, but I didn't post it. But if you watch the live stream, you, you saw the ponder. But this is, uh, we're going to start off, some of what you're going to hear is about the same as yesterday, but only the very first parts. And then, well, you see, I got a lot. I got, I got some stuff planned out. Let's see how this works, because this is a bit of an experiment, a bit of a hybridizing of how I do dialecticals from the Monday show version to the Tuesday through Friday show version. So we'll see how this works out. Strap yourselves in. We're about ready to punch this puppy in the head, but only metaphorically because we never actually punch puppies. It's a great metaphor metaphorically, but never punch puppies because if you do, I will find you and I will steal all your ramadan noodles that you ever have in your life ever. You'll never, ever be able to eat ramadan noodles ever again. And if you hate them, well, I guess you got off on this one. All right. Value exchange as a single prevailing entity in any geographical circumstance could be relegated to exchange between agents who have no other small scale localized value exchanges to utilize this particular exchange. And what I mean by that is simply you could see value exchanges such as we have now. The, the dollar is a type of value exchange. And the way we think about value exchange is very different than what I think we'll think about in the future. But in the future, the value exchange is going to be 
it's gonna it's its value is going to be based in in different different things, including the value inherent in cryptocurrency, the 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 cost of mining and all that stuff. So the value built into the algorithms that make it more or less difficult for humans to find these these nuggets of of mathematical I am valuable, you know, whatever. So when you don't have access to any s small scale network, whatever, you could be exchanging value with your mother. Mother, I don't want to mow the lawn. Could I, if I give you this, will you, you know, if it's a value exchange that you're using that she, when she comes to you and says, hey, I'm, I'm spending my value exchange. And then you don't honor her value exchange and the whole system falls apart. But I think in many, many situations, some families, not all even, you'll see these types of, of things occur where people will create this level of micro value exchanges. And if, and if you're dealing with an entity that is outside that system or if you're not part of any local system, then you need larger scale value exchanges. So there's a pl place for large scale value exchanges for that reason. There's also... The other reason is there are some larger structures that have to do business with folks, and sometimes those larger structures probably want to want to deal in larger structure things that uh, you can, and the locals got to be able to transfer that value exchange to those larger st structures. And so the larger structures, if they want things on their books, they got to do stuff to offer candies and sugars to get people to use their stuff instead of value exchanging amongst themselves that's true that's true cop that's a true that's an open market that's not a free market that's an open market microcurrencies could allow for greater levels of localized preservation of value the community as a whole preserves the more we exchange value primarily with individuals in close proximity and or close ideational demonstrable or social circumstances the more our particular communities be it barbers or muslims will sustain their own capacity to be stewards of their own lives circumstances and aggregate holes my suspicion is more and more communities across these spheres will soon learn they have the capacity to move significant portions of value currently and in hand off the books and into what are effectively black markets that may not be anonymous guaranteed but significantly raise the cost of collecting value in as much human exchange as possible by the prevailing geographical monopoly on value value exchange today the united states of america in my particular circumstance and i do have uh, folks from other parts of the world that i know have watched and commented so if you're from another country, whatever your particular area, whether if it's the E, if it's in Europe, I don't know if you consider that the EU, but I guess. <coughs> I need not preach the good news of near anonymous, which is the best you could achieve, I suspect, value exchange. My confidence in the emergence of such black markets of localized digital value exchanges is higher than it is for most of my positive assumptions regarding the emergence of today's leading edge tech into the daily knowing lives of the uninitiated the hoi polloi of the futurist set the unwashed masses still fantasizing over the last great election that will end the drama once and for all in favor of their angelic sly side or sly really sly more accurate and finally for reasons vanquishing the enemy the moron demons and their russian or chinese bots but i digress here are the five of the most anonymous cryptos today from investopedia monero at the top of the list stands monero the cryptocurrency whose popularity and adoption has been on the rise in the virtual world primarily due to its anonymization characterization Monero transactions are unlinkable and untraceable as it uses the concepts of ring signatures and stealth addresses to hide the identities of the sender and the receiver. Additionally, ring confidential transactions or ring CT is used to hide the transaction amount, ensuring complete... Well, there's, I don't know if that's true, but whatever. Ensuring complete anonymity. You know, this is... 
this is this would be some of the most fearful things that any politician could wake up to find out. Hey, slippery slip. Hey, Park! Hey, Park, wake up! Uh, come in, come in. Hey, Frank! 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 What the? Oh, I got bad news, Frank. Bad news. The numbers come in. Listen. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say this, Frank. Complete. Don't, 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 don't. Complete. No! Tell me. Tell me we didn't find a key. We didn't find something. No, Frank. Complete anonymity. Oh. What do we do now, Frank? Do we, do we call them? We call them. The fuck will we call them? <laughs> the fuck you think they're gonna do? You think you think you think we're walking out of here alive if we fucking tell them complete anonymity? <laughs> oh, listen, listen. We get the fuck out of here, Washington. You know where. We hunker down. This is going to be a long and, 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 and dark ride. We're going to have to hunker down maybe three, four years before we can start to emerge and figure out what's going on and re inject ourselves into the land. But uh, our time is over. It's time for us to go. And hopefully, they won't find all of our bunkers. That's all I got to say. Don't tell them. Just. Let's go. See, that's what I imagine. That's what I imagine right there. That's what happens when, when this becomes reality. When they are cut out of value, I can guarantee you the at least 40 to 60% of Americans will opt out if they could. We may find other ways, and I believe we can, and I'm hoping I can be a voice to help that, but we may find other ways to have a more pragmatic union where we can have our diverse valuations and moralizations. Even the, if you're really, really sold on the authoritarian SJW, there's some space you can do your little thing over there. Just don't try to put me in it because I will resist with everything I have. Uh, but outside of that, I think we can find a way for all of us to well, I'm have to build new structures that allow for the new reality when, when something like that happens. Now, I don't necessarily believe complete an an anonymity is, is possible, but even if, uh, if Frank wakes up to the door and he hears 90, 99.78% anonymity and everybody knows it, then he knows. He knows. It's over. And then Frank heads to the bunker and he doesn't tell the senators that he was supposed to tell. Or anybody else for that matter. Not the CEOs, not anyone. He just gets the hell out of there. Hunkers down. <clears throat> Alrighty. I don't know if I want to say anything more about that. That I I, I, I could just uh we got a we got a few other here as we have Dash, we have Zcash and Verge and even Bitcoin private. I didn't expect that little thing that I got, which I liked. Subjectively speaking, I enjoyed doing it, if nothing else. And I think that really does say it all. I think that's it. That's that's the story here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're talking about. That's what they fear. This is what I'm talking about, giving to you the people. And what I'm telling you is we are pretty... We're, we're already to the point where we could probably have 97, 90, maybe 98% anonymity in our networks, where it would be that difficult for folks to to reliably be able to trace what people are doing on these types of networks. And if you have if you have hundreds upon thousands of them and some of them are as small as between two people, see, that's possible. See, it's mesh. I don't want a blockchain. I want mesh blockchains. 
and they'll have they'll, we'll be we'll build bridges between blockchains. I'm sure that they already exist, but we'll build the bridges that allow them to exchange, convert value from one to the other, and whatnots and flows of block blockchainage if that's the model that we end up using, or if we use some sort of quantum configuration. I I think that I remember seeing that there's still some advantage to the blockchains in their current form as a means of doing what we're doing now over the quantums, but I could be wrong about that. I'm sure I'll see a story soon enough that might say one way or another. <coughs> and if you know, comment down below if that's true or if it's not true. Let me know. I think we'll leave that here. That's how we're going to end this dialectical. We have ahead of us tomorrow the last show of the week before we take our weekend break to... I, I was at one point doing a... I did it, I did it for two or three weekends and then said in the end I decided no I got I got to take the breaks I gotta I gotta for for reasons I think eventually when I get to the point where I have everything pretty much built and all I'm primarily doing is maintenance only then I'll probably add a Saturday show to probably be it might not be a poetry show maybe something else <clears throat> anyway thank you for watching this segment. I will see you the next time you'll see me if you're watching this segment is tomorrow, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the top headline for tomorrow's show. But if you're watching live, uh, you don't have to say goodbye quite yet. Whew. Oh, well, I didn't go back to here. Oh, I missed this, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll talk to you here for a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I got a little bit of time here, so I can take a little bit of time to remember this. Here we go. We're about ready to change the universe, ladies and gentlemen. Brace yourselves. They say you can't change the world, and you can't, but you can change the day, at least for you. And that's what I'm doing right here, right now. I'm changing the day, because it's all I can really do, and I've done it. I have done it. I have moved to six shows. By the way, that... The expletives don't... I was not freaking out. That was part of my character. The the assumed Frank in that role. The ubiquitous Frank in my life. Frank is always the... Well, Frank serves multiple purposes. But in this case, Frank was the 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 generic, high-up, right-hand uh, uh, assassin hirer. The one that hires the assassin. Not the assassin. The one that hires the assassin. That's why I imagine Frank was in that last skit. And so I figured that, that would be Frank. So those do not count. I did not have a freak out today. So all you ladies and gentlemen, I know if I had a huge audience right now, there'd be a lot of people, especially the haters, they'd be like, Are you saying you changed it to six shows? I changed it to six shows because I wasn't freaking out. I was theatering out. Yeah! You can't fault a man for theatering out. Or anyone else for that matter good theater and out never heard anyone well abraham lincoln never mind that was terrible that's a terrible joke the man is dead paul the man is dead he's freaking dead the no joke literally died literally sorry i feel really bad about this now i don't know how i'm gonna deal with this anyway I want to thank all of you for joining me here on Frigo Talks uh, News. I will join you again, or you will see me again tomorrow, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I haven't even selected the stories for tomorrow yet because I do this in a new way. So, But I have a ton of stories to pick out from because I, I do stuff now. I'm doing stuff. I'm, I'm doing stuff. This show is only, well, now I'm going to say, a little bit over three weeks away from getting to the point where I will say, yes, I am the greatest podcaster of all time. I'm not there yet. I'm patient. Give myself another three weeks because I'm a realistic person. And after that, another four weeks. And I will be. The, the manifestation of the fruit of the greatness will be manifesting itself. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Not even. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. In, in two, two weeks, a little bit over two weeks. And then after that, another four weeks. So we're looking at only a little bit over six weeks before Joe Rogan has to call me and say, Hey, hey, listen, brother. Ho hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Yeah, 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 Jamie. Pull that up, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pull that up. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, wow. 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 Yeah. Oh, Frico. Yeah, watching... 
Have you have you watched this, Frico man? Frico, Frico really really gets in my head. You know, he gets in my head, and I I realize, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm doing a pink trip version of Joe Rogan, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, I lost it. I was I was I was as close as I was going to get to Rogan, but then I lost it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, all uh, you know when I. When I picture Joe Rogan, oh my gosh, oh, oh! By the way, have you noticed that he is phoning it in on his little, uh, his little things? He, he, how many more times does Joe Rogan, when there's a big hit, and 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 Daniel, I love you, Mr. Cormier, but you're kind of falling into it too. How many more times are they just going, oh, 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 dude? I can do that. I could do. Look, I just did it. Listen, I could do that. You know what? I can even if it's even if somebody just like moves, I can still do it. I don't even need someone to hit someone to make that sound. I'm just saying, just saying, Joe, just saying. But anyway, let me put my glasses back on. Oh, blinded by the light, wake up like a deuce. And I think with that, we're going to say goodbye. It's been six shows. Six shows now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see tomorrow if we can make it seven. Seven's a good number. Good number to change that, too. We'll see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not leaving you hanging. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to set you right with the world. Thanks for engaging with this issue of Ascended Issues. Remember, your views, your suppositions do not make you subhuman, nor do they permit you to subhumanize others. No humans were harmed in the making of the show, and we extend no wish of harm on anyone who hasn't directly harmed or threatened to harm others first, no matter how reprehensible we find your views. We will see you in the next Frico Talks, where Frico attempts to talk about the news without breaking out.
It's not.